Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a compound bar chart using SPSS and the legacy dialogs. This type of chart can be used if you have a nominal and an ordinal variable. First thing goes to graphs, then select legacy dialogs and then select bar. Now in the first uh, menu you have an option to choose between simple, clustered or stacked. In this case I want a stacked version and leave the summaries for groups of cases and click on define. Then move the ordinal variable, uh, sorry the nominal variable into the uh, category axis and then the variable, the ordinal one into the define stacks by. Now you can choose percentage of cases, but that actually um, creates the percentage of cases in each uh, ordinal variable. And I want it actually based on the uh, nominal variable. So in order to do that, I just simply leave it at number of cases, click on OK. And in the output, I should now get a stacked bar chart or compound bar chart. Might take a little while because my computer is getting a bit slow these days. Um, the colors might look different on yours. Uh, I'm using SPSS 25 and they changed the default uh, colors, but the output should be relatively the same. Double click on this output and it should open up the so-called chart editor. Now, here we have the chart editor and the properties window is immediately there as well. What we can do now is actually scale this to a hundred percent so you can either click on the icon for that or it's also available I think under options yes and all the way down there scale to a hundred percent and now each of the categories gets scaled to a hundred percent so you actually have the uh, percentages within each category this makes it slightly easier to compare for example the uh, students in Demon, as you can see, they uh, seem to be fully agree is uh, orange, uh, sorry, yellow, orange, green. So they tend to be uh, slightly more agreeable than the students in Harlem and Rotterdam. Uh, don't forget to change this to percentage then. Just click on it, uh, slowly click on it again, and then you can actually adjust it to, for example, percentage, or you can leave it out uh, because the the symbol is there already. You can also change if you like the order of these. Uh, simply click on one of the bars and then I think it's at categories. Then you can say well I want them based on their value and perhaps descending option. Then apply and now it's actually flipped the other way around. You can close the chart editor and the changes will automatically stay in your output. Okay that was it. I hope this was helpful. 